I mean, honestly, is it such a big oh, deal? Oh, I don't think so. No, I, I think that's just focusing on the wrong thing. I, I mean, really? Dr. Wolf makes a, lo a lot of very good points, but uh, if every uh, kid who uh, watched uh, uh, movies with uh, with killing and death were, were considered mentally ill, we'd have, we'd have a lot of mentally ill people. Because I've got to be honest with you, um, you could look at Arnold Schwarzenegger as your hero, and sure. he did a lot of killing and death, and then he became the governor of California. Right. There's two different harm. personalities there. <laughs> you know, so is it is it such a big deal if you choose an actor yeah. or if you choose a, you know, well, look, no if, you, if you choose Eric Harris as your role model, uh, you, you got to think there's some trouble there. You have to think so, particularly the fascination with Eric Harris, which, which seems to have, if you read this very closely, almost a homosexual edge to it. Without question, you wanted to see him with his shirt off. Yeah, you know? and, and he talks a lot about that, how cute and adorable he finds him. He even questions his own sexuality because of that. I mean, he, he's clearly in his own journals worried about who he is oh, because of how he feels about Eric Harris and others. He is, and he's obviously overly close to his mother, and his mother and father had a bad marriage, and his mother treated him and over-babied him, even to the point of bizarre things like taking him to Columbine. But this was like an overly close relationship between mother and son. And so inappropriate that she, she took him. I mean, so she, for her part, she said, I took him there to hopefully satisfy this crazy obsession and get rid of it yeah, once and for all. Yeah. Didn't go away. She took him because she preferred his company right. to her husband's. Probably that.